today, we're going to talk about if you should sign with a talent agency. And I do know a couple things about talent agencies because I'm actually signed to one. So I do have a little bit of knowledge when it comes to the pros and cons of each one. And I am a positive person and I am assigned to a talent agency still and I love them to death. They're amazing. They take very, 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 very good care of me. So I appreciate them greatly. But the first pro that uh, comes with signing with a talent agency is they will usually handle all of your negotiations, especially if you are signed exclusively with them. Um, they can help you with no negotiations. You're, they can help you with your negotiations. <laughs> and they usually put together a really, really solid pitch for you because they're pros. They do this to, for a living. So you obviously are maybe a commodity or a service that they want to sell. So they will put it in an angle that not only makes you more money, but makes them more money. Now, a con to this is that a town agency industry standard-wise usually takes anywhere between 10 to 20% um, of any sort of take that would be on the contract. So let's say your contract is $1,000 and they take 10%, that would be $100. So your net would actually be $900 for a gig. Now, let's say you were making $500 a gig before that. You definitely want to sign with a talent agency then because you're making more money. If that's what your end goal is, then it's a great solution for you. So the next thing that is great about being with a talent agency is that they sell and market you very, very well. So a lot of times when you're getting started with a talent agency, they'll set you up. They'll basically do a meeting with you and you will have to give them a bunch of your content, like any sort of press shots, promo, mixes, videos, all that jazz. And that's what they're going to be using for all of their pitches. So they'll put it into this really nice, if they're using an EPK, they'll use an EPK, um, which just stands for electronic press kit. That's basically just like a one to two sheeter that describes you if you're a DJ and kind of goes through all of your skills and what you provide as well as a background on you. But then they'll take all of the stuff that might be fluff, get rid of it, and they'll just do anything that would be beneficial to the pitch. And that will help you a lot in the long run too. Now, the con that comes with this is if you're assigned exclusive, you will have all of your leads typically go through them. So even if you have Sarah come to you and it's like, oh my gosh, can you do my birthday party? And you want to charge two grand for some giant 200 person birthday party rager with like full production lights all that jazz you can't do that because you are signed exclusively with the agency so you would then need to send that contract over to the agent or that like point of contact and then they will get a contract for you and take a cut on top of it this is another sort of situation where you kind of need to weigh your options if you do a lot of booking yourself and your calendar is pretty full already town agency might not be for you but if your calendar is a little empty in some spaces and you think you could do better with a talent agency, then that's probably something you should look into. So the last pro that really sold me on talent agencies were helping me stay organized. A lot of times talent agencies have artist portals or some sort of calendar that they manage for you and all of your contracts. So all of my dates and everything are in one calendar, like one sheet holds all of my dates and all of my blocked dates. So I know when a gig is coming up, where it's going to be, who the point of contact is, the directions to get to the gig, um, which is so nice. Basically, it just gives you a one-stop shop for everything. And this is definitely something that if you have a very busy and full schedule, it's definitely something to look into for sure. And make sure that the talent agency that you're maybe talking with or is reaching out to you, Maybe this is something that you need to make sure is offered to you. I know it was something that when they offered it to me, I was just like, sold, next. All right, cool. We're moving on <laughs> because that was a huge selling point for me because I have a lot going on with heavy hits and edits and solo and pa like passion projects for me. So it was a huge deal for me when they offered me this sort of like one-stop shop to stay organized with everything that I'm doing. And a con to this is that sometimes a town agency, depending on what kind of organization it is, can sometimes give a little too much input into your sort of creative process and what you want to do. Now, this is very subjective and it kind of depends on the person. Like I said, I'm very fortunate. The people that I work with are 
freaking amazing and I wouldn't have it any other way. They take care of me. They ride with me on like everything and they're very open and we shoot ideas back and forth. It's a very good, I don't know, synergetic would be the word. Like it's just a, it's a good relationship all around and I, I love it. But I have heard of instances where some people might have gotten a little too much input from other agents or managers and things of that nature. And sometimes it can hold the person back if they're really trying to do something unique or different because it is a business at the end of the day when it comes to these talent agencies, marketing, management firms, all this stuff. It's all about a business. Like what kind of service or product can you provide them that they can sell? And I can't really fault them for that because that is their sort of decision. And if you are someone who is a big creative and likes to kind of be flowy, go with the process, have inspiration that takes you in very different directions, a talent agency might not really be what you're looking for. So with these three pros and cons, I'm sure you have a lot to think about right now, especially if you're looking into being a part of a talent agency, marketing, management, or joining any of those sort of uh, business entities. Uh, make sure you do the math on your end, figure out if it works well for you. And if you have any questions or comments, anything you want to share, maybe personal experiences, just let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I've had a very positive experience when it comes to these sort of agencies but there are some industry standards and stuff that you guys should be aware of and should take note because what's the right decision for me might not be the right decision for you. But until then, take it easy and I'll talk to you soon.